so yeah, I guess for me it's about being treated with respect. I mean, I never chose to go on the dole. So it was like all of a sudden I had no job and uh, kids to feed, rent to pay. And uh, you know, I haven't even told my mum, she'd probably kill me. So yeah, and I know a lot of people do take the piss, but the truth is you don't get much. I only just make the bills every week. Yeah. You know, so, and it's not like I'm lazy. I want a job. I need something to get me through until I do get a job. So yeah, I've been applying for all sorts of things. There's just not much out there. Hi, hi, sorry. Sorry, I'm late. I just, just come from work. My job. Because I'm employed. Oh. Hi, right, Blackford, how's the job search going? Good. You're, um... Abel. Abel. Great. Um, nice of you to make it. Do you want to take a seat? Just, um, yeah. Great. Yeah, thank you. Cool. So, yeah, as I was saying, it's the lack of jobs that's the real evil, not beneficiaries. I guess we thought at this point it would be useful to get a little bit interactive, um, having listened to everyone today, and I guess from your personal experience, um, you'll have ideas on how a typical lose uh, case manager client interaction uh, goes down, and and then how it makes you feel. We'd like you to get into peers and come up with a brief role play capturing this kind of relationship, um, and then and then share with the group. So, yeah, if you could just grab the person next to you, open a number you are. Number one is gonna be the case manager, number two will be the client. Uh, one, two, and one, two, one, two, and so on. Are we really good? Cool, so yeah, um, if you guys wanna find a space somewhere and then come back, I'll see you soon. Okay, so. Okay, how can I help you today, sir? Oh, you know, I just want the dole and shit, because working's for losers. Okay, so what you're trying to say is you're having trouble trying to find a job. <sighs> what I'm saying is, you're a dickhead. Okay, well I certainly respect your opinion, but I think what you're trying to say is that your job search isn't going very well. Yet. Tell me about your skills. Ah, oh, skills, skills, my skills. Well, they, uh, they involve, um, Chilling at home, you know, smoking weed from a big old bong full of skanky buds. And I uh, sit around and play computer games like uh, Grey Ops, shelving my kids' Ritalin, and uh, making babies for fun. Uh, most, mostly so I can stand the doll longer. And raise my kids to be doll bludging artists. Sorry, creatives. No, it's not taking it seriously. You don't shelf it to them. You sell it to your friends at a margin, small margin. Anyway, that's besides the point. Okay, IT, childcare, these are great skills. You're very employable, Abel. What ifs? Can I go get drunk now? <sighs> I can see you're in a rebuilding phase. I know life can be really tough on the dole for a well-educated, middle-class Pakeha with creative tendencies, but we're here to help. We're here to lift you out of that rut. We care about you, Abel. I care about you. I love you, Abel. I've always loved you. Don't, don't do that. What are you doing? Don't break character. Sorry, I, I, I just was in the moment. You know, I think that's what he would do. He's no, got a big heart. You're breaking character. You know. Staying uh, character. I love acting, I'm not breaking character. Great work today, Abel. Proud of you. Really, really nice. You've come a long way. Yeah, well, anyway. Give him my doll check. Come on, those pokies aren't going to play themselves. Okay. It's been great talking to you today, Abel. I'll see you on Tuesday at the work start thingy. I've been Tim Tams for everyone. And see. Great. Um, I really liked the satirical approach. Satirical? Well, more like spot on social realism. I think what he's trying to say is, nailed it. Um, moving right along. Uh, who no, wait, hang on, hang on. Can we, can we do that again? Can we do that Because I play a great case manager and you, you be client. No, I did a good job. No, 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 I just didn't no you, he was, job, you were job, terrible. Job, he was, he was job, terrible. He was terrible. Right right time, we're just going to see what other people... What are you doing Saturday night? No. Abel, there you are. Hey. 
So, Bam tells me you've been hanging out socially together. Oh, it was an accident, really. Oh, well, I think it's sweet that you've taken an interest in him. He's, he's fun, isn't he? Yeah, well, I was, I was only there for the, um... Catering? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Cask and wine, hummus. Mm -hmm. It's pretty good, though. It was, um, turned out to be a gathering of the great unwashed anarchists. Ugh, yuck. Bam's in the thick of it. He embarrassed himself. I'll tell you, that guy has a Ford liability of the entire lose budget. I can't view everyone as just a number. Eight. Number? Not my number? Yeah, sure, sure. It's uh, 027 6921 747, and you can call me anytime. Anytime. I don't mind, I stay up late, so whenever. I've, I've got a client. Hmm? Oh yeah, well I've got a photocopy of these, um... She's gone, okay. Great, I think this is great. I think this is lovely. Oh, God. Did you get your pants pop? Oh,